Storm Jocelyn will arrive on Tuesday nights across the UK, hot on the heels of Storm Isha. Not as intense this storm, but it could still cause some significant disruption. Here's the satellite image from early on Monday. This was Storm Isha as it cleared away to the northeast. But behind me, brewing out in the Atlantic, here is Storm Jocelyn. A, a bigger storm in terms of its uh, width, but in terms of its intensity, a notch down on Storm Isha. The wind's perhaps not quite as strong. However, it will still bring problems. Firstly, in the form of rainfall on these weather fronts, and then as the isobars squeeze together, some gusty conditions, particularly across the northern half of the UK. We'll look at the winds in a moment, but let's deal with the rain first of all as these weather fronts approach. Nothing too heavy initially as the rain spreads in, but then as it builds up as we go through the day, particularly over the hills of northwest England and southern and western parts of Scotland, that's where we've got the brighter colours. We could easily see 20 to 40 millimetres of rain, maybe 60 millimetres over parts of northwest England. Because we're following hot on the heels of Storm Isha, that also dropped quite a bit of rain. This could cause some further problems, some further flooding and some further disruption to the transport network. So we have Met Office yellow warnings in place for the rainfall. Now let's look at the winds because they will be lively once more. Those weather fronts move through. There's the storm system heading to the north of Scotland, but the isobars really pinching together here later on Tuesday across Northern Ireland and into Western Scotland but some lively gusts further south. Uh, this is the gust graphic showing where we could see gusts of 50, 60 miles an hour, some places 70 miles an hour. And this pocket of darker purples across northern Scotland, across the Western Isles, then northern parts of the mainland, and up to the northern Isles of Scotland, there is the potential for gusts of 80 miles an hour in some exposed areas. And notice the winds remain pretty lively over the Pennines and just to the east well into Wednesday morning. So lively gusts of wind, Again, because we're following on from Storm Isha, which may have weakened structures, weakened branches, there is an increased chance of disruption. A broad yellow area covering Wales, central and northern England, all of Scotland and Northern Ireland, where gusts quite widely 50 to maybe 55 miles an hour with gusts of 65 miles an hour on some coasts and hills. That could cause some further travel disruption. Power cuts are possible. And then this amber warning area where gusts of 65 miles an hour be pretty widespread and we could uh, around coast sea gusts up to 80 miles an hour. Again, because we're following on from Storm Isha, that has a greater chance of causing further disruption to transport. Uh, the bridges will be affected, the ferries will be affected, power cuts uh, more likely in this zone. Please do stay up to date with the latest Met Office weather warnings and our latest broadcasts are always on YouTube.